testimony real quick here. Um, I got a couple of things to say. <sighs> okay, first, um, every year, for those of you that don't know, um, for the Hall of Fame artists, what I do is I consider uh, fifth grade only, and um, I look at a lot of different things, because obviously as an uh, encore teacher, I have these kids, most of them from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. So what I do is, is I'm always obviously watching the kids, and um, for the fifth grade student that I pick for the Hall of Fame, it's not necessarily do I look at like, oh, this is the best artist. It's best all around student. Does the um, quality of their work matter? Well, of course. But what I really look for is a student that comes into my class, um, is always eager to try, is willing to fail sometimes, and then not get overly worked up over failing, and um, willing to kind of push through those problems. Because I really try to challenge my students in many different ways, from kindergarten through fifth grade. So um, this year I was able to narrow it down to three students and it was very difficult to make the final decision. So what I decided to do is that after looking at the body of their work, um, considering all the different factors, uh, and having other input from other teachers through the years, um, I came up with to start two, what I'm calling, honorary mention. mention, uh, haven't seen him here, it is Jeremy around. Yeah. All right, this young man, he's really, like I said, he fits a lot of the, the things. He was very close, um, but I can only pick one, right? Jeremy is the first boy to make it. Never ever a problem. He really always tries his best and proud of him. So I got a little word for you. Okay, so you were close, but you should be proud of yourself. He's got a great body of work, so he can stay here. Okay. The next one, Brooklyn Newman. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, just like Jeremy, was um, right there at the very end, uh, looking at the body of work, and uh, the winner in these three, they're really interchangeable. It's so hard to kind of narrow it down to one. So they were so close, but it's just one person has to want, has to win. So can I get a round of applause? For All right. Now, why do they get their pictures taken? Now, for the Hall of Fame artists, for those of you, when you get a chance, if you look around the corner, they get, so this is last year's winner. Where's Molly? Here's Molly. So Molly won last year, and she picked out one of her artworks, and what I do is, with the help of PTG, we get it professionally framed, we get a nice placard on it, and it's going to hang in the halls of Kidder forever. So to win this award is pretty pretty great because your artwork's going to stay here forever. So there's past winners that are framed around here, and Molly has not seen her framed artwork yet. So this is Molly, her choice of artwork from last year, probably upside down, all that. We'll let you look at it yet. So I always invite last year's winner to come this year to help me unveil who's going to win this year. So Molly's artwork will get hung on the wall with the, the three other ones and also with this year's winner. Do you mind holding that? So Molly can see. Looks pretty good. All right, you guys can slide over. Like all the time. I was all the way in the back. It's your job. Come over here. 
Everybody for coming, I appreciate it. I did it. I have a garbage.